Hi guys, it's Kenny here. Just recording a quick intro for this video, which is of course the photography challenge video, in which I'll be shooting a series of images using just the one aperture, and that aperture is f2.8. Now, I don't want to bore you all to death with going into great depth, in-depth detail of, you know, what apertures are and all that, etc, etc. So basically an aperture is an opening in the camera lens that lets light through which will then hit the camera sensor and by hitting the camera sensor it will then form the image. So to try and put it as simply as I can, you can get narrow apertures and wide apertures. And f2.8 is what would be called a wide aperture because basically it lets in more light and also creates what's called a shallow depth of field. And a shallow depth of field basically means a small part of the image will be in focus where the rest of it will be blurred out. And that blur is usually commonly referred to as bokeh. Now, if a camera utilised a large depth of field, then you know most, if not all, of the image would appear in focus. So that's the difference. So basically, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go out, take a series of images using that f 2.8 aperture, and try and get a series of images where I'm going to focus in on a certain a particular detail, and try and focus on that, and then blur out the rest of the image using that shallow depth of field. Well that's it for the intro, I hope it hasn't been too boring for you all. <laughs> and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Right, so today I'm just going to try and get some shots uh, basically around Glasgow Green because I'm actually running out of light because I'm actually started this challenge a wee bit late in the day. So, Right, so I'll start and see what I can get around the, the Glasgow Green area and see what I can come up with. And hopefully I'll get something interesting. As you can see behind me, the light is starting to fall here, so yeah, this this challenge is rapidly running out of light, so better get cracking on and see what else I can get. Got some shots so far, but it remains to be seen how they turn out, so, but hopefully got something interesting.
well that just about wraps up for this video uh, hopefully I got some good shots today so yeah it'll just remains for me to go home and uh, see how they turned out so yeah hopefully I uh, hope got some uh, interesting things to look at today the idea is of course to just try and get some in, uh, different uh, perspectives again kind of like the last video try to think outside the box and get different compositions and just try and come up with uh, shots that have an interesting depth of field and trying to blur out the background as much as I can of course with micro four thirds uh, cameras you don't get the same shallow depth of field effect you would with like say a full frame camera but you know what I, I think hopefully I've done what I can okay well that's all from me for now and I'll see you guys in the next video so until the next one this is Kenny signing off okay bye for now